what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find a value of x for which negative 5 to the x is equal to 5. well our first step towards solving this question will be for us to simplify this negative 5. So negative 5 can also be written as negative 1 times 5. So negative 1 times 5 is same as negative 5. And this is raised to the x. So I'm going to be raising this to the x equal to 5. Our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices to this expression. The law of indices which says that when I have for example a times b and this is raised to the n, the law of indices says this power here n affects both the a and the b because of this multiplication here. So this can be written as a to the n times b to the n. So let's express this like this. So this expression now becomes negative 1 to the x times 5 to the x. So 5 to the x. And this is equal to 5. Equal to 5. Now our next step will be for us to apply the Euler's identity in this expression. Because negative 1 comes from the Euler's identity. Let me write it here. So Euler's, Euler's identity. The Euler's identity is e to the i pi equal to negative 1. So I'm going to be replacing this negative 1 with e to the i pi. Because e to the i pi is equal to negative 1. So let's go ahead and replace negative 1 with this. So this expression now becomes e to the i pi. So I just replace negative 1 with this. And this is raised to the x. So I'm going to be raising this to the x. Times 5 to the x. So times 5 to the x is equal to 5. Our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices once again, which says, for example, when I have a to the m, and this is raised to another power to the n, the law of indices says this power and this power can multiply. That means this becomes a to the m times n. m times n and this will eventually become m times n is what mn so let's go ahead and apply this law of logarithm here so the power here and the power here are going to multiply so this becomes e to the now i pi times x gives us i pi x that's it times 5 to the x and this is equal to 5 equal to 5 now because i have e here our next step will be for us to take the natural log of both sides so i'll take the natural log of the left hand side which is e to the i pi x times 5 to the x and I'll also take the natural log of the right-hand side, which is ln 5. Let's continue. Our next step will be for us to apply the multiplication law of logarithm to this expression on the left. In fact, I call it multiplication to addition. So this is, for example, when I have log a times b so this is multiplication equal to 
So multiplication to form addition. So this becomes log A plus log B. So we're going to be applying the multiplication law to this so that it becomes ln E to the I pi X plus ln 5 to the X. So we've been able to write this in this form according to the multiplication law of logarithm. And this is equal to ln 5. Our next step will be for us to apply once again the law of logarithm, which says when I have, for example, log a to the n, we can take the exponent, which is n, and multiply by the log of a. Or you can just move this to the back so that you have something like this. So what I have here, I have the exponent, which is i pi x i can take this exponent to the back to be i pi x and multiply that with ln e so ln e plus we're going to be doing the same thing here we take the exponent which is x and multiply that by ln 5 ln 5 and this is equal to ln 5 our next step would be for us to apply the law of logarithm once again. Don't worry, we, I know we have been applying so many laws of logarithm. That is to make sure that we get it right. So the law of logarithm we're going to be applying would be whenever I have ln e, this is equal to 1. ln e is always equal to 1 because ln is an inverse of e which is an exponential function. So that means this expression becomes 1. So 1 times i pi x is i pi x plus x ln 5 plus x ln 5 equal to ln 5. Our next step will be for us to factor out x from the left hand side because when we see here x is common so let's factor out x so x out now i pi x divided by x i'll be having i pi so i pi let me put this well plus x ln 5 divided by x i'll be having ln 5 so i'll be writing ln 5 here equal to ln 5. Our next step will be for us to divide both sides by this expression inside of the parentheses. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll divide the left hand side by pi i pi plus ln 5. And I'll also divide the right hand side by the same thing. i pi plus ln 5. Now, this can cancel this, leaving just x to be equal to ln 5 all over i pi plus ln 5. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.